Good afternoon to all. I am Pankaj Singh, Assistant Professor BIRTS, Department of Civil Engineering, would like to set you in a motion with the most dominant and salient topic of civil engineering. In this topic, I will make you familiar with the definitions, classifications, performances and the selection criteria of building material. Let's gear up ourselves. With the help of these building materials, you will be able to define, classify the types of building materials, performances and the selection criteria of building materials. Because the selection of a building material is one of the toughest tasks for any civil engineer or construction engineer. Hence, he or she has to know the proper knowledge of the building materials, economics of the building materials only by being aware of this. Now, let us learn something new about the building material by classify the building materials. Building material broadly classified into two types. The first one is natural building material and the second one is artificial building materials. Natural building materials are the materials which are available naturally. Some of the common examples are mud, stones, sand, wood, leaves, uh, fibers, etc. <coughs> now, mud. In the early stages, when people uh, build when people start to build their own houses mud was one of the first material they preferred people use the mud along with the cow dung and chopped straw to build the walls of their houses still this concept of construction is used in the wall construction uh, moreover the combination of mud and cement provides excellent durability and finishing surfaces Another important construction material is stone. It is in use since ancient times. It is widely used in different components of building materials such as walls, floors, foundations, roofs, etc. Usually stones are obtained, obtained from the natural bodies and are processed to put into use. Some of the stones commonly used today are granite, marble, sandstone, limestone, etc. <coughs> Here are some pictures of stonework in walls, in foundations, in roofs, sand. With the effect of rock disintegration, small grains of silica are produced subsequently to form sand. The source of sand in construction is usually pits and rivers. Since sand is used to create many building materials such as concrete, mortar, plasters, etc. <coughs> Here the extraction of sand from river with uh, the help of legal procedures. Wood nature's most abundant material. It is one of the most useful material in all periods. The common, the main source of woods are sal, deodar, teak and bamboo trees. People use the woods mainly for the construction of windows, doors, ceilings, roofs, etc. <coughs> Here are the pictures of sal tree, teak tree. Uh, basically, sal tree is found in a Morni and the Kaleshara forest in northeast and central India. And the teak tree is also known as Sagon, which is found in basically peninsular region. It is indigenous species and it is basically found in 24 degree north. Now, next is leaf. With the help of the leaves, people construct a temporary roof structures in their houses from palmyra and coconut trees are the major sources of leaves for construction. Here are the some pictures of coconut trees leaves used for constructions. Now lime, because of its benefits, lime was nicknamed as nature's cement. It is mostly used uh, in various construction, construction such as palaces, monuments, temples, bridges, etc. Though lime got replaced by the cement in most of the areas, but it continued to serve 
most of the it continued to serve in areas that were economically weak in building constructions they are used as a damp proofing material in floors and roofs <coughs> this is used in damp proofing fibers since ancient days five various types of fibers have been used in constructions some of the major sources are coconut husk jute fiber banana leaves etc some of the commonly used fibers in building constructions are coir fiber sisal fibers and bamboo fiber etc the main use of fibers are the arrest of the growth of cracks when used in reinforced cement concrete they are also improve the soil properties performances and the selection criteria criteria for the construction engineers <coughs> here are some pictures of the fibers this is bamboo fiber and this is sisal fiber now performances and economics of natural building materials we can discuss one by one the natural building material have following properties they have a good durability due to their natural origin apart from that they are easily accessible to repair maintain a stable temperature irrespective of the seasons since such materials are naturally available natural building materials are very cheap when compared to the artificial building material <coughs> but they soon started becoming extinct which paved the way for mankind to invent artificial building material <clears throat> now we will discuss artificial building materials the materials that undergo human processing are known as artificial building materials some of the common examples are cement brick tiles glass metals plastics etc <clears throat> cement cement is widely used in constructions today for its strength and durability it has the ability to bind the loose particles such as gravels broken stones etc its main feature is its main feature is quick setting properties which in turn made it the most famous building material they are used in the construction of literally all the civil structures bricks another most extensively used building materials brick is made up of kiln fired product like clay <clears throat> likely good insulation property against heating and sound moreover we can obtain several shape and sizes in bricks through molding tools tiles tiles are produced using hard wearing materials like ceramics based on the applications it can be classified into two types common tiles and encaustic tiles the tiles which is used for the paving flooring roofing are called common tiles and the tiles which are used for the decorative purpose are known as encaustic tiles some of the examples of tiles are roof tiles pot tiles and floor tiles we will see in the next slides glass glass manufactured by heating soda lime and sand glass is widely used in construction material for glazing doors and windows with the help of tempered glass tempered glass is produced by heating a glass plate followed by a sudden cooling process moreover glass is further used for the sound proofing materials here are some pictures of roof tiles floor tiles now metals one of the important backbone of the civil structures is metal and its sub products metal is used as a construction material in two forms the first one is ferrous metals and the second one is non ferrous metals ferrous metals consist of iron and steels while non ferrous metals consist of aluminum copper and zinc the most generic example is steel without steel we can't even imagine any civil engineering constructions aluminum is used along with the glass 
in facade type of constructions which we commonly see in all the modern skyscrapers uh, like uh, Burj Khalifa, Twin Towers etc. <coughs> Here are the uh, ferrous metals air classification tree in which we can only add on the carbon percentages and it gives a proper uh, material for us. Plastics, we can say plastic is most versatile product in these eras. Plastics are available in various forms such as switchboard, tap and domestic furnitures. Uh, here are some examples of switchboard and uh, domestic products etc. <laughs> performances these uh, a good sensitivity we can achieve as they are designed manually S uh, some materials like cement and metals uh, have a good durability with shear strength and they can mold it in any shape and sizes but they are little expensive but require more knowledge so if you have any queries then do comment in our video we will surely reply on your comments and uh, with these words i sign off thank you thank you for sparing your valuable time good luck good day thanks a lot